Molly, welcome to my channel. Today is going to be a tutorial on the Granny Square bag. I have been putting this off for so long, but I finally finished it. So if you want to make it, let me know what colors you're gonna use in the comments below. Also tag me on Instagram if you decide to post it at Loop by Ally. And I'll also have the written pattern available in the description box. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you find this tutorial helpful and let's get into it. The materials you'll need is a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, Four or more colors of yarn. I'm using Bernat Handicrafter yarn, my favorite, 100% cotton. So we're gonna start by making the granny squares. This is the first granny square that we're gonna make. This will be the second granny square. So for this one, I chose to have four colors, but honestly, you can just choose to do whatever you want. We're gonna start off with a slip knot. We're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then into this first stitch right here, we're going to slip knot. So I'll just show you how to slip knot if you're a beginner. So insert your hook into that first chain, yarn over, pull through. Now you have two loops on the hook and pull through one more time. So now you have this little circle with a hole in it. So now chain three, so one, two, three, and we're gonna do 16 double crochets. So yarn over, insert into that middle hole right here, yarn over, pull through. You have three loops on the hook now, yarn over, pull through two, you have two left, yarn over, pull through the last two. So that is a double crochet. I do have another tutorial explaining the basics of crochet. So if you haven't watched that, make sure you do. It'll make this tutorial a lot easier for you. So we did our first double crochet. Let's do 15 more. Two. Three. four, five, six, seven, eight. And I forgot to mention, but as I'm doing this, I'm like wrapping this excess yarn around it so I don't have it on the other side. Eight. As it gets to the end, it gets a little trickier. Eh. <laughs> Nine. So I'm just going to count to make sure I have enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Perfect. So now insert your hook into this part, the chain 3 here, that space. Yarn over, pull through, and then pull through. So we just made a slip stitch. And that's the initial circle. So go ahead and chain 1. Take a pair of scissors, cut off the excess, pull through, tighten it, and then I like to add an extra knot to secure it. Okay, so that is your circle. Now we're going to move on to our next color. For me, the next color is this green. So I'm going to start here in this first stitch. I'm going to pull the yarn through, oopsies, not that much, like that. I'm just going to take this string with this and just do a little, let's do three knots to secure it. Oh, 
Okay. So we have secured the green. And then again, I'm just gonna put this to the side like this so I can crochet around it. So insert your hook into that first stitch. Do you see that? And yarn over, pull through, and then chain three. So one, two, three. Okay, so in the same stitch that you just chain three in, yarn over first, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and pull it more so it's, do you see that? I don't really know how to explain that, but like that. And then yarn over again, insert it into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then Pull again to make it the same length. We'll do that again. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, and then stretch it. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In the stitch, yarn over one more time, pull through all seven. So it should look something like this. And then just chain one. So we'll repeat that same stitch into the next stitch. So first yarn over, insert it into the very next stitch, yarn over, pull through, extend it like that, just yank until it stops, yarn over, insert it into the same stitch, yarn over, pull, and pull again. So we have five on the hook right now. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yank it. Looks like that, seven stitches. Yarn over one last time and pull through all seven. There we go. And now chain one. So we're gonna repeat that stitch in every single stitch and then I'll meet you back at the end and in total, we will have 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So here we are at the end, 16 of them. So insert your hook into that chain three, yarn over, pull through, pull through to make a slip stitch. There we go. And that is our second row. So chain one, take some scissors, snip, then pull through it like that. Tighten it and then make a knot. sorry you can see my hands so up close um yeah my nails are not great right now please don't mind them <laughs> so this is what it looks like so far and now we're going to create the outer rim and for that i'm using this cute little blue um i'm really running out so let's hope it lasts because i don't know what brand, what color this yarn is. I just found it in my stash. Okay, so like the last time, you're just gonna want to tie a knot to the last layer. That. Okay, take your hook insert it into now we're not working in the stitches we're gonna work in between the stitches like these holes right here so we're gonna start in this hole so insert your hook and then yarn over and pull through so you just have that little loop um yeah so i'm gonna try to hide. actually i don't really care just leave that okay so you have your loop here chain three like always and into that same one, we're going to yarn over, insert it, yarn over, pull through, 
yarn over, pull through two. Then yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, put it in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. We're gonna do that one more time. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through five. Okay, after you're done that stitch, chain two. So one, and then two. And now into that next space right here, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Now yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Last one, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And once you have five, yarn over, pull through all five, and now chain two. I'll show you one last time, like very slowly, and then I'll just do the rest. Okay, so we're gonna go into this next stitch right here, the little space. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through the hole. So you have three now. So yarn over, pull through only two, yarn over, insert into the same hole, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through five. Okay, I hope that was slow enough. Uh, you can rewatch your video if that wasn't, but yeah, that's the stitch. And then yarn over and chain two. So I'm just gonna repeat that again, and then I'll meet you at the end. So I'm at the last part, insert into that space with the chain three, and then do a slip stitch. And then chain one, chop that off, pull through, tighten, and knot. So, There we go, that is your little starburst. And now we're going to do the entire border of it for a clean look. So I'm gonna use white. You can use any color you want for the base of your bag. Um, so of course, like the other times, we're gonna take the yarn and then tie it to the previous yarn that we just used. Great, okay. So, we're going to insert our hook here and we're just going to pull it through to make a loop, yarn over and chain three. Now we're going to be doing three double crochets into the same space, so. One, two, actually I'm only going to do two because there's already three, like there. Okay, so I did two double crochets, chain two now, and then in the same exact stitch, you're going to double crochet three, two,
All right, so we have just made a corner. There we go. Chain one. And now into the next hole right there, we're going to do three half double crochets. So yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. We're gonna do that two more times. Chain one, and we're gonna do three single crochets. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Do it two more times. There, so we have three single crochets. Now chain one, and in that next space, do three half double crochets. One, two, and three. Now chain one, and we're gonna make another corner. So let's do three double crochets. Chain two, yarn over, three double crochet, oops, three double crochets. Two. And three. Great, so we have one corner to corner, and we're gonna continue that for three more sides. So chain one, three half double crochets, chain one, three single crochets, Chain one, three half double crochets, one, two, three, chain one, and then do three double crochets, one, two, three, chain two, and then one, two, three double crochets. So we have just made another corner. Now we're going to chain one into that next space, do um, three half double crochets. So one, two, three, chain one, three single crochets into the next hole, one, two, three, chain one, next one, three half double crochets, one, chain two, three, oopsies, there we go, chain one, and then into the next space, three double crochets, so one, Two, three, 
three. Chain two. One, two, chain three. I mean, sorry, double crochet three. Chain one, half double crochet, three. Chain one, three single crochets. Chain one, three half double crochets. One, two, three. Now insert your hook in that chain three space right there. And slip stitch. There you go. Chain one. Cut it up. Pull through. Tighten. And of course, can't forget the knot. And there we have it. A starburst granny square. This is the next granny square that we're gonna make. So I'm gonna start with some pink yarn. And I'm gonna create a slip knot. Just like that. Then slip the hook through. I'm gonna chain five. One two, three, four, five. Just like last time, insert your hook into the first stitch and slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through, pull through. Now we're gonna chain three. So one, two, three. And into that middle hole, we're going to do two double crochets. So yarn over, insert into that hole right here, Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Oh no. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, and then do another double crochet. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two. Ah. Yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to chain two. So that first three chain counts as one of your double crochets. So let's do three double crochets into that center hole. Ready? One, two, and three. Chain two, one, two, then do three double crochets into that middle hole, one, two, and three. Chain two, one, two, insert into the middle, do three double crochets, so one, two, three, chain two, one, two, insert it into that chain three area, and do a slip stitch. All right, so let's do a chain. Take your pair of scissors, 
snip and there you go you got your first little layer right there now we're going to move to our green color so this time i'm going to do a slip knot so those tricky tighten it so insert your hook chain three one two three and then two more double crochets one into that same area two so now you got your three double crochets well your chain three is acting as one and now we're going to chain two for the corner and do three more double crochets into this section right here so one two and three Now we're going to chain one and into this stitch right here, the middle one, we're going to do three double crochets. So one, two, and three. Now chain one. And into this corner right here, we're gonna do three double crochets. So in this section, one, two, and three. Chain two, and then three more double crochets into this section, one, two and three chain one and right into that middle stitch right here we're gonna insert and do three double crochets so one two three chain one and then do three double crochets into this next corner one two three now chain two one two and then three double crochets into that same corner one, two, and three. Now, chain one and insert it into this middle stitch right here. Let's do three double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay, there we go. So we're at another corner. So let's chain one. And into this corner, let's double crochet three. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, two, three double crochets into this corner, one, two, and three. 
Now chain one. Now into this middle chain right here, or this stitch, we're gonna do three double crochets again. So one, two, and three. Now let's chain one and slip stitch it right here. All right, now let's chain one more. Snip off the excess, pull through. So we have this now, it's forming a square. And now we'll do our last layer. So we're gonna get the pink again, make a slip knot. Sorry, my nails are so gross right now. Um, okay, just don't mind. <laughs> don't mind my fingers. Okay, so I just slip knot and then insert your hook, insert it into the corner. I like to start in the corner. You can really start wherever you want. Um, so I'm gonna attach it so just doing a slip stitch into that, like that, chain three. And we're doing the exact same thing. So we're gonna do two more double crochets into that same stitch. And then now we're gonna chain two for the corner. And then three more double crochets into that same section right there. So one. two, and three. Now chain one, and then into this section, we're gonna do three double crochets. So one, two, and three. Now chain one to this section, three double crochets. So one, two, and three. Now chain one and into this corner, we're gonna do three double crochets again. So one, two, three, chain two, and three double crochets, one, two, and three. Chain one, and then three double crochets into that section right there. So one, two, and three. Chain one, three double crochets to that next section. So one, two, And three, chain one, three double crochets into this section. So one, two, three, Oopsie. chain two, one, two. Two, three, chain one. Now into that next hole right here. Three, one, 
two. Three. Chain one. Check that next section. Three double crochets. One. Two. Three. Chain one. Three double crochets into this corner. One. Two, three, chain two, three double crochets, so one, two, three, chain one, to the next section. Three double crochets, one, two, three, chain one, and three double crochets, one, two. Three, and then now chain one, insert it into the next, into that chain three hole, and slip stitch. Finally, chain one, and like always, snip. These scissors are so dull. My goodness. Then pull through. Yink, yink, yink. And then tie a knot. There we go. Okay, so now we have this. Last step of this granny square is to create this white border we have. So, again, let's start with a slip stitch. I mean, sorry, a slip knot. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. <laughs> sorry. Um, into your hook right here. Tighten it. Um, now we're going to start not in the corner, like right next to it. So it's easy to insert your hook. Um, this one, I don't actually do a slip stitch. I usually just do a single crochet right away. So I insert, oh my gosh, <laughs> I insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So this is just single crochet all around in each stitch. Um, the ones where it's just the chain, it might be a bit tricky to get your hook in, but you'll get the hang of it after a while. So just do this around the entire square and I'll meet you back when I'm done. So once you do the entire perimeter, you can just insert it into that first stitch again that you made. Just make a slip stitch. So insert it into a stitch here, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through. So that's slip stitch and then just chain one and just, I already cut the yarn, but cut the yarn if you haven't. Just pull tight and there you have it. Your little other square. Now I'm gonna show you my layout for connecting it. So I like to alternate between the this style and then the starburst one. So what I like to do is put the right sides together. So this is the wrong side, this is the wrong side. I put it together like this and then I take the white yarn again and then I'm just gonna make a slip knot oops take my hook insert it and then I'm gonna pick one corner so we already have a single stitches so it's pretty easy um, just make sure that they're 
lined up. So I'm gonna go through this one, then I'm gonna go through this one. And all you need to do is just do a single crochet like that. And then insert into the next one and find it on the other side as well. If you see that, just do a single crochet. Again with the next one, so I'm going to insert it here and then insert into the corresponding one on the other patch. Yarn over, pull through both, yarn over, pull through two. So we're just going to continue that until the end of the row. When you encounter the chains, it might be a bit difficult. At least I find it pretty difficult, but you get the hang of it. So I'm going to meet you when I'm at the other end. So here it is all finished. I'm just going to pull that. And then if you open it up, it should look something like this. So continue it in the diagram I showed you. It's just the same. You always put the wrong sides together. And I will show you what it looks like when it's all put together. Here is the entire thing connected and now we're just gonna piece this together even more so here I have the bottom flap and then I have the side flaps on either side so I'm gonna first um, stitch together the side flaps so again you want to do the right sides together so I'm gonna flip it over so the right sides are together and here are the wrong sides so I'm gonna take the white yarn again make a slip knot Take my crochet hook and attach these two sides together. So just like last time, you want to find the corner, insert it there and then insert it into the other corner as well. Take it and then just single crochet the entire row together. Okay, so I got those together now, and then, ooh, that sound. Take your pair of scissors, snip it off, chain one, and pull through all the way. So that we have that, so now it's kind of like a, all connected, and now we just want to connect the bottom. So bottom wise, the sides are also one granny square wide, so I'm gonna just start from one end, it's kind of hard to see, but it's like a box bottom. And again, just make a slip knot. Start from one end and go to the other. And now flipping to the long side. See here, we're gonna crochet along this entire part. So turning the corner, make sure to leave no gaps.
Okay, last stitch and then chain one. Snip and the bag is intact. You can flip it out, inside out. As you can see here, it's a pretty big bag. You're gonna take your white yarn once again, do a slip knot, connect it to, I don't know, any, any starting point. There's so much yarn. And you're just gonna do a single stitch for each one around the entire thing. And I'll come back when I do all of it. So I'm back with crocheting, a single crochet around the entire thing. I have only three rows. And I don't know exactly how many stitches is around. It doesn't really matter as long as you cover everything and just go through all of your stitches because I feel like everyone's going to have like slightly different number of stitches. And it doesn't really matter if it's perfect or not. So this is where I started my row and this is where I'm going to end it. And I want the handles to be like in the middle here, not super wide. So I'm just going to continue until I'm in the middle of this granny square. And I just worked in a round, so you don't need to like slip stitch the rows together. It doesn't really matter. I just want to work on making this as sturdy as possible, which is why I'm choosing to do single crochet rather than like half double crochet or double crochet because that'll be less stable, but it will be faster to make. So if you're in a time crunch, that's totally fine too. Okay, so I believe I'm in the middle of that square. So once you hit that middle of the square, you're going to want to do a foundation chain, but I like doing single crochet foundation chains. It's a lot faster. So what I'm gonna do is chain two. And then if you watch my fingerless glove video, it's the same as that. You wanna go into that first stitch that you made right here, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, and yarn over, pull through two. So that's a single crochet foundation chain. And then you're gonna go back into that stitch you just made here, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. So I'll show you one more time. So insert your hook into that chain you just made or that stitch you just made, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so I single crochet foundation chained 60. It'll be about this length. You can make it longer if you want, but personally I like the length of this because I know it'll stretch a little bit more when I actually use it. And then once you have that, you want to make sure to straighten out the chain so it's not all twisted because you're going to attach it to the other side now. So here it's all flattened out. And I'm going to single crochet it to the middle of this granny square. So we attach it here and then we're gonna attach it to the middle of this one. So right here, I believe. It doesn't have to be perfect, just somewhat even. So now we have that handle all attached and we're gonna continue single crocheting until we reach the other end. Okay, so I'm approaching the middle of this granny square. 
and we're going to do the same thing we did on the other side. So this is the middle, and as you can see, it kind of lines up with the other side where we're going to start that chain, and we're going to make the chain so it goes all the way to this part. From here, you want to chain two. Insert your hook into that first stitch you created, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. And I'll show you one more time. So insert it into that stitch you just made right here. So there should be like two, two layers of yarn here. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. So continue that again until you have 60 stitches. So here I have 60 chains. And again, you just want to make sure that it's not twisted when you attach it to the other side. Perfect. Okay. And now again, you want to find the middle of this granny square and just attach it. So from this middle up here. So I'm gonna estimate it's around here. Just single crochet that there. And then we're basically done. All you need to do is continue around until your handles are thick enough. So I'm gonna show you. So just continue single crocheting. Okay, so this is where I first started. Oh, actually I started here but this is where I started the chain. So from here, the reason why I like to do single crochet chains because it's easier to crochet them later on as well because I find when you just do regular foundation chains, it's hard to like get the, get the hook in at first. So we're just gonna make these handles more sturdy and I'm gonna go around the bag probably four until I hit four rows. So I'll come back when I finish that and I'll show you what it looks like and how to end it. Okay, so I finished so that there's four rows here and I, I'm just gonna insert it into that next stitch, yarn over, pull through, pull through to make a slip stitch. Chain one, chop and tighten and you have your finished bag but it's so cute i love how it turned out i'll show a wide shot but wow first time making it and i think it looks great it took a long time but here it is thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you found it helpful make sure to tag me on instagram at loop by ally to share your creation i love seeing them and make sure to comment what colors you're going to use or which ones you did use and again if you want the written pattern it's in the description and i'll see you tomorrow in another video bye